And I really don't know why people always think in creative fields that they can get it for free and just like let people work for them and never pay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's barely bright outside on my way to the studio. Got a new jacket, it's getting cold in Germany. And for all of my vegan friends, that fur is of course fake. It's not real. I love animals, especially the furry ones. Enough with the nonsense, let's get into today's main topic because, you know, I get a lot of emails with people asking me to give them feedback. I get a ton of emails, people asking me to mix something for them and master something for them. I really love doing these things, but these people are usually like, hey, that's my track, can you mix it? And then I tell them, hey, it costs something. And then they're angry or they just don't answer or they just tell me to do it for free just for them because they're so... I don't know, they just come up with reasons that don't make any sense. And that was also always the case when I did ghost productions like two, three years ago. People just wanted me to do a demo for them for free, so start working without getting anything and without having the security to get something. There was one point in my life where I just stopped doing that entirely, completely. I said to myself, I will never ever work without getting paid. Because the thing was, I, I was doing for one guy like two and a half months an entire album ghost production thing. I started, I think I got to track number five and then all of a sudden he told me he's not interested in it anymore because he doesn't have money himself. So I was sitting there with five almost finished tracks and no money at all for like those two months and I got in so big problems that ever since I at least tried to get half of the money up front. And now since I started this channel and I focused on my own John Sign project 100% and I'm not doing these kind of things anymore, it's less of a problem. I just make my music, release it, get my money from Spotify and all those other stores, play my gigs and get paid immediately. And I'm pretty sure you know the situation. I'm pretty sure if you're a DJ, a producer, or you're working in any creative field that people already ask you to work for them for free. I know a lot of club owners, if I ask them that I want to DJ in their club, they just tell me, okay, I got 20 other people that also want to DJ here. All of them want to DJ for free because it's so much fun for them. They're just doing it for the free drinks, the girls and whatever. But since I'm making a living of these things, I can't do it for free because once you start doing it for free, it will be always for free. This club owner will never start paying you if you started making and playing there for free. They're just used to it. There is no way to get out of it. So that's definitely one of the reasons why you shouldn't do it for free. I also got a lot of questions by people, by big labels to do remixes for them, for also bigger artists, and they also tell me do it for free. And in those cases, it sometimes makes sense to do it for free. You do not get paid, but there is a compensation. They will put a lot of money in the promotion of the song. If your name is besides of a huge artist, this will be good for you. So with not getting paid, it doesn't have to be money. It needs to be some sort or form of compensation. You should definitely make sure to always do that. I know a lot of people say do it at the beginning for free. And yes, that might be true for the very first couple of months where you're trying it. Let's say a band wants to record in your studio for free. If it's your first time recording a band and you want to train it and, and you don't feel comfortable enough to deliver them something that is worthy to be released 100% then you can do it for free or for cheaper and you can tell them it's your first time doing it and that's why they're getting a discount. So they also immediately know the next time they have to pay more. And it's not that I love money over everything but without money I can pay the rent for my studio, I can't pay new equipment, I can pay my rent at home, go out for dinner, have fun with friends. It's important to get paid and you should definitely insist on getting paid the right amount and the right time frame. And if not, you really have to go and take legal actions. I have one of these cases at the moment, but that's something for another video. My lawyer still doesn't allow me to talk about it. And the best way to make sure to get paid is actually immediately to tell the people how much it's actually costing. You need to figure out prices for yourself that are 
accordingly to what other people are doing and also so that you actually make a plus at the end. I would at the beginning highly advise against doing like percentage deals. So if someone tells you you will get 20, 30 or 50 percent of whatever the song makes that you produce, don't do it because those people might actually not really promote it, not release it, never release it and then you just worked for free again and they push all of the risk of making the song and putting the effort into it they push it towards you, you're the one making the song, they're just waiting for it. So they don't care if it gets released or not get released, if it does make a lot of plays or not. So definitely make sure to get a fee and maybe on top of the fee, let's say 500 euro for making the track and on top of that 50% of whatever the track is making. This of course varies and depends. Again, if Eminem is asking you to make a track for free for him and you get credited, it's definitely worth more than getting like 5,000 by someone that no one knows. And I really don't know why people always think in creative fields that they can get it for free and just like let people work for them and never pay. I really don't get it so please be careful, make sure you get your stuff for your own sake. And if you have a strange feeling about the person you're working with, if you have the feeling they won't pay or they're not paying in a fair way, then just don't do the job because doing one where you at the end get nothing from is worse than not having any at all because you at least have like the time still available to do other things. I can't even tell you how many hours and, and weeks and months I spent making stuff for other people that actually never turned out, they, they never got released, they never made a cent for me. I wish I could get it back so please take my advice and, and try to make sure that this is definitely working in your favor. Let me know what you think about this topic. Is that something that happens to you a lot? Do people pay you for DJing, for producing music or doing any other creative work? Do they try to not pay you? Do they pay you in a fair way? Do they really pay you by the hour or is it like flat just for, for the job? Would be really interesting to start like a small conversation in the comments. I will also try to answer as much as I can. Speaking of getting paid, I now need to make sure that my man Brennan Wolf gets paid. His release is coming up tonight, midnight, his new song Young. That is really amazing. So I will take care of promoting it and then hopefully also get into making music myself. And tomorrow is the big release day. I think by the time this video is online, yes, by the time this video is online, you will definitely be able to check it out. I will link it down below in the description. Would be really nice of you if you click on it listen to the track it's an amazing song and you support a young artist with his second release ever nothing lasts forever but i'm still dreaming of her hands wrapped in mine i'm all done with work and <laughs> there's one thing i absolutely hate about this time of the year it's dark again outside it's getting dark so early the day feels so extremely short but there's one thing i hate even more that i forgot to mention earlier and those are people that that promise a whole lot i just hate that so much i get in contact with someone they want me to do a song or, or mix something and then they tell me okay do it for free and then you will get this and that and that. And these things never happen. So if you ever get in touch with someone that promises you a lot, it's not delivering and not paying at the beginning, believe me, you will never ever get paid. I had that a lot in the past with club owners. I even had someone that booked an entire club, six DJs. He told all of them he will pay them after the event. He never showed up to the event. He actually moved to Thailand that same evening because he was already owning other people a whole lot of money. And I really don't get these kind of people. I would never ever do something like this. If I want something, I pay for it. That's, that's the standard, that's normal. That should be like the respectful way to treat other people's time, work and effort. I'm pretty sure it's now even way, way, way colder outside. Can't even see anything. I could immediately start a hip hop video. It's way past midnight guys. Usually I'm not sitting here on the couch. I sit here, there were the boxes, put my camera there, 
But as you can see, our Black Friday shopping stuff arrived. So doing all of the business stuff for Brian Wolf's track here on the couch. His song Young is now finally out on Spotify, as well as all other major stores. The link to the song is the very first one in the description. Please do me a favor, support him. It means a lot to me getting your support for him as well as for the label and all other releases. The next one is coming up in just two weeks. So that's pretty much it for the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Tune in tomorrow. Another exciting day back in the studio.